What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Anything But ASIC. And uh, we're doing pretty good. Okay, it's bad for probably most people. But if you invested in Bitcoin when it was at $20,000, um, you're still doing, you're still up. You're still doing pretty good. So um, Bitcoin is actually pulling away from Ethereum and becoming more dominant. Uh, Ethereum seems to keep sliding down, but uh, we're going to take the approach. I say take the approach to what uh, Binance, uh, CZ's Binance is doing. And he's a, uh, and this is bear market, this crypto market, well, bear market. Uh, he's investing in companies outside of cryptocurrency, you know, and um, just getting back to, you know, or getting his company to merge or, you know, um, invest in other companies that don't just do cryptocurrency. I mean, there's a, whole nother world out there guys <laughs> so uh invest in yourself um start new projects maybe help out the cryptocurrency you may like maybe you know how to maybe you know php maybe you know some some json or something like that and there's plenty of projects that probably need your help um i know vertical was looking for a php um developer but there's many projects out there like that um so that's it for the crypto market. It's pretty stale. Uh, transactions slowed, volumes down. Uh, stable coins are pumping. Lots of volume in stable coins. And uh, from there, we're just gonna move into some news. Ah, oh, Nvidia. Cryptocurrency mining chip produced Nvidia reports significant profits after a decline. The American chip developing company Nvidia, I thought they were Chinese, but okay. Attested a dip in shares due to the CMP crypto mining process sales decline. The company stated that its 52% decrease for its quarter one of OAM and other investments was because of the decrease in CMP sales. Nvidia stated that this as explained in a filing on Wednesday. In 2021, Nvidia recorded 24 million in returns from its CMP sources. This also recorded a discouraging decrease of 77% year over year. Last year, January, the corporation introduced the CMP product to discourage cryptocurrency miners from storing up existing mining devices like Ethereum, famous GeForce RTX 3080 Ti. While the chip maker didn't explain the exact sales account, its CMP sales provided it did tag the value nominal and over 155 million in loss from the previous year. Ah, whatever, it was right off. The Vita shells tumbled at the end of quarter one. The company experienced strong quarterly growth from 2021 last quarter to 2022 first quarter, increasing by 8% in returns, thus making up to 8.998 billion. This share is also increased by 3% at two one dollar 36 cents a share in addition the chip maker stated that it'll continue its back buyback program reaching 2023 end and it's worth 15 million nvidia at the quarter two nvidia in the quarter two nvidia ha has now been experiencing a steady decrease in interest in the cmp mining chips during this quarter two the reason why is is so mighty probably because the ethereum porting to the proof of stake mechanism the current bear market are the recently de developed products from the industry leader intel corporation we don't know but we do know that the tech giant isn't experiencing a good time and is it is currently current turnover quarter two isn't starting as interesting as quarter one and pundits project project a 4% loss and $8 billion in turnover. During Thursday, after hours, trading NVIDIA shares decreased by 7% to 157.8%. Also, the NV NVDA stocks have experienced an almost 50% decrease in year-over-year -year report, reflecting a poor outlook for tech stocks. During last year's quarter two, NVIDIA encountered a 33% dip from expected returns, reaching $266 million, then 
106 million oh. in quarter three and 24 million in quarter four. The value wow. has still fallen. The chip maker revised his expectations for second quarter, summing it up to 8.1 billion wow. because of the Russian Ukraine war and lockdown in China. Nvidia, CMP, and crypto mining, cryptocurrency mining. Nvidia Santa Clara situated CMP can be effectively effective for mining Bitcoin, either Ether and other digital assets that use the proof of work consensus mechanism. In addition to the token graphics card built for gaming, can be effective for mining cryptocurrency, except restricted. One notable fact is that CMPs are very scarce in supply, even on secondary markets. It's rare to find them, therefore making the chances of sales slimmer and smaller. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So basically, Nvidia is getting out of the direct um, crypto mining chip making um, experience or, or making dies, whatever we call it. They're not doing it anymore. Uh, in other news, let's see. Come on. Top crypto quant reveals why Bitcoin's next bull run would be driven by energy companies. This is interesting. It's interesting, if people are going to mine less, why would it be fueled by energy companies? Basically, if we're going to, if everybody's trying to port the proof of stake, that means that mining would be no different than hosting a data center. And there are plenty of data centers out there. Most of them use more power than what Bitcoin is pushing. <laughs> but we don't want to talk about that. All right, getting into the story. Ki Young Ju, CEO of CryptoQuant, and a community-driven blockchain data analytics platform has stated that the next Bitcoin bull run will be driven by energy companies alongside traditional finance institutions. In a thread of tweets, the analyst broke down how his predictions were going to unfold even as regulators around the globe continue to leapfrog rules that seek to regulate the crypto mining sector. first change we'll see is that the Bitcoin network will be run by solar wind, which became the most cost-effective electricity source lately, Young wrote on Monday. Today, 62% of crypto miners globally use hydroelectric energy, with only about 15 to 70% of Bitcoin miners using solar. This has caused strains between various governments and local miners, according to uh, Statista as of May 2021. Bitcoin was using more energy than Switzerland, Norway, and Bangladesh, and many other countries. Young, however, believes that this could be remedied with miners increasingly committing to green energy. This, he notes, will turn, in turn help keep BTC's hash rate surge and, by extension, buoy up the asset price. While BTC price drops 56 per 56, negative 56 since November 2021, Hash rate increases 75%. The market could market is cold, but the fundamentals are full of heat from mining rigs. Yeah, according to the Nick Carter, co-founder of CoinMetrics and Global ESG Ideals are broken. We recently wrote that the government, the global carbon footprint situation can be effectively salvaged by Bitcoin miners using renewables. According to a recent report, the U.S. government plans to expand the energy production as they aim to achieve 80% renewable energy use by 2030. Given that the U.S. Bitcoin miners consume about 40% of the, the 15 gigawatts used globally, Carter argued that the U.S. should pursue a decarbonized power grid by partnering with Bitcoin miners as they could help in smoothing out demand peaks and power prices surge. Adding Bitcoin mining as an offtake dramatically improves the economics of new wind and solar installations, Carter wrote. With talk of Bitcoin's carbon footprint taking center stage, it has remained to be seen who will lead the decarbonization efforts between regulators, regulators and crypto miners. Crypto miners are no, nonetheless already pivoting towards transitioning to fully using clean energy, showing that the blockchain industry isn't obtuse to ignorant or integrate of the environment. Just last month, Blockstream and Jack Dorsey blocked, teamed up with Tesla 
in setting up a solar and powered a solar setting up a solar and battery powered Bitcoin mining farm in Texas. The facility is set to power Bitcoin mining using 100% renewable energy and move that is expected to accelerate BTC synergy with renewables. Firms like Houston based tech company Lensium are already building facilities that seek to harness renewable energy for their Bitcoin mining operations. So, what do you guys think? This is a bunch of uh, uh, magic fairy dust. <laughs> oh man. Are you guys already mining with solar? Because I know there was one guy. I, I subscribed to him. He was he was running what six five eighties with his solar rig, his solar cells, and um, I guess he had no overhead after that. I mean, other than breaking even, and I'm pretty sure he did because that was a pretty old video. But what do you guys think? Is it even worth going into quote unquote renewable energy? to get electricity uh, electrical cost down or electrical use um, electrical carbon use down or is this for the regulators to just hash it out between themselves and it has nothing to do with Bitcoin uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think and I'll see you guys in the next one